hello in this video we will understand about the signal transduction in plant so how the signal can be transduced in plant let's begin to understand the chemical or physical signal is the stimuli which that will be environmental factors change the physiology of the plant it can be a two type chemical signal or physical signal Chemical signal can be a endogenous. Endo uh, endogenous is the hormone and exogenous is the carbon dioxide, nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide, amino acid and other minerals and water. Physical signal can be a touch and uh, touch on the wall for change the physiology and growth pattern of the plant as a response. Light, air and gases as well as ethylene for example gas and soil, gravity and minerals cannot differentiate between sensory and responding uh, tissue and cell in plant uh, as compared to the animal signal. Let's understand about from light. So we will understand through light and we will also understand about the mineral. This is the light when fall on the leaf and change the physiology of the leaf. Let's begin to understand the general structure of the plant cell. This contain chromosome in the nucleus, a mitochondria for producing ATP, chloroplast is used for the photosynthesis, and cytoplasm is a, uh, contain a cytosol. A cell wall is used for the rigidity and um, uh, erection of the uh, plant herbaceous plant while it will become a secondary cell wall to uh, produce a xylem and xylem is a secondary growth will result to produce wood let's begin to understand the plasma membrane as well as the nuclear membrane to understand that signal transduction signal transduction requires the receptor and the transduction will lead to response this is a plasma membrane this is the nuclear membrane contain the genetic material and the nuclear pore. This is the uh, G copper protein receptor as a phytochrome activation by light in the air, in the leaf. Whenever the light will be fall like a blue light and in this way the cytoplasmic intracellular domain contain G copper protein will be activated to GTP from the GDP to alpha unit will be sub uh, uh, divide alpha unit will be separate from the trimeric to dimeric and the monomeric will be released while this is the calcium is the mineral which that is in the root will give the uh, enter in the soil uh, into the root root tip the calcium channel open will allow the calcium move inside into the cytoplasm from the outside both signal is important for the change of the physiology of the plant this is the receptor and this is the transduction this is the response let's understand about the alpha subunit activate through a gtp and in this way adenylate cyclase enzyme will use to convert this GTP into the cyclic GMP and pyrophosphate will be released. When pyrophosphate will be released, this is a cyclic GMP. This is the second messenger produced. The second messenger will activate the specific protein kinase 1 and this phosphorylation of the specific protein kinase 1 through a cascade of phosphorylation events and the same mechanism for the uh, soil transduction as compared to the air but in this way the calcium channel open with calcium allowed to activate the specific protein kinase 2 and phosphorylation will lead to uh, go into the into the nucleus through nuclear pore and in this way will lead to uh, activate the DNA specific region of the gene and in this way the transcriptional factor 1 activate and 2 activate will bind with the specific region of the DNA will lead to transcribe this transcription is in the form of messenger RNA will 
uh, produce this messenger RNA will remain in the nucleus and go into the cytoplasm when going to the cytoplasm uh, through nuclear pore the translation will occur through ribosome binding will lead to polysome formation and the deactivation response of the protein in this way the deactivation means the light is coming will convert the uh, pigmentation for example the green color will be more more chlorophyll synthesis will be more and chloroplast replication will be more and the requirement of all protein for the chloroplast is important will lead to get a response from the signal and this is the response let's understand about the pathogen plant and pathogen interaction for example this is the lrr kinase lr receptor kinase will bind with the pathogen and this is will lead to cascade of phosphorylation will occur but the exchange of the potassium out and proton will move in will lead to depolarization and the oxidative burst will occur also and in this way the G J A synthesis and the uh, uh, jasmonic acid synthesis and nitric oxide synthesis will occur after the calcium move inside in this way the cell signaling pathway the cascade of phosphorylation will lead to produce ethylene synthesis also and also the cell signaling pathway will go into the nucleus as a transcription factor activation to the bind with the dna will produce the specific gene uh, 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 gene translation and in this way the gene translation can be a defense response against the pathogen cell wall modification and the cell wall modifying protein because it is important for combating the pathogen and resistance against the pathogen protein synthesis salicylic salicylic acid and local cell death will occur this will go this defense in protein and defense in response and cell wall modif modifying into the cell and in this way the pathogen resistance and inhibit the invasion of the pathogen and infection in the system systemic resistance will occur in this way this is the signal transduction in plant is very important for normal growth and physiology i hope you make sense about the signal transduction in plant if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share and give the comment below for understanding better if you have any doubt so thanks for watching see you in the next video for uh, this time uh, i hope you make sense bye